So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab and many of you are having issues regarding you are unable to complete some task on this lab so here is the updated guide for it and just click on start lab and open the console in the incognito window now open any online notepad or personal notepad because it will be required for later stages of this lab now simply here if you get any kind of pop up click on i agree and i understand and then simply we have to activate the cloud shell and open the BigQuery console also. So just stay tuned. Here you can see the icon next to the Gemini. Click on it to activate the cloud shell. Also from the search box you can open the BigQuery. You can just type it in case it is not visible over here. Okay you can type on the search box and open it. Just click on it and the BigQuery console will be opened. So just click on it. Now here simply click on continue and authorize yourself. If you get another pop-up just simply click on authorize and then here you can clearly see that the project id is not set by default so first thing is that we'll set the project id and i'll tell you when you have to just initiate directly the github now drag your mouse cursor from here to here and just come to the notepad paste over here simply select the project id paste select entire content and paste on the cloud shell and hit enter now here you can see this thing is done perfectly. Now once you see this yellow project ID then only in the description box the github repository is here. Run it over here like this. Now carefully export the month. Okay now here you have to pay attention to the month and year. Now here in my case it's June. It might be April or February in your case or even January. So like this you have to enter the month number. You have to enter the month number not name. Like if it is February, then you have to 0 to March 03 like this. Whatever is mentioned on the lab instruction, you have to follow it like that only. One more important thing is that follow as I am doing and just update all the values as per the lab instruction. I will show this step by step because so that no one makes any mistakes and get full score on this lab. Otherwise, it could be made easily also basically because many of you are unable to complete this lab. So I am making it detailed one. So now here just enter the month and date. Now hit enter. Now come to the task number 2. Here basically you have to enter the number of death. So just enter the number. I repeat the number would be different for you depending on the lab conditions. Now here hotspot. Carefully update the number. Hit enter. This is also done. Now, once you have completed this, come to the fourth number. And here again, you can see it's showing month of June. Now here it may show month of April or December. Now here basically we have to enter start and end date. So here for June, you must be knowing June has 30 days only. So here it will be 30 last date. And if it is July, it will 31st. Like this, you can take the help from calendar and just write it over here first write the first day and then this, the second will be the last date like if it is july then it will be 31st 07 2022 depending on whatever i repeat depending on which month it is showing like if it is showing june you have to follow like this only like 30 days and just this syntax and if it is showing july then you have to just add 31st like this you have to just add the last date here end date means last date if the last date is 31st then you have to enter 31st if it is 30 it is it will be 30 only now come over here and just identifying specific day so just update it do not worry if you are not getting score in any task i will tell you how you will get it hit enter now task number six is this so here only first one is start date that is 21st February. It will be different. I am repeating this so that you don't make any mistake. Now here how we will write. We will use year. 2020 dash. It's February. So it will be 02. If it shows March then it will be 03. I hope you know the basic. This much basic you must be knowing. I hope so. Now here again it's March. So just type 02. Uh, sorry 2020 dash 03 and it will be 18th 
and if you make any mistake you can proceed for the all task by hitting enter and just rerun the cloud shell command and just enter the value again and you will get the score so follow the video carefully because here in some task you may not get the score also now task number seven it's showing five as a doubling percentage it might be different for you so just select it from that only now again recovery rate limit to hit enter this is also done now task number nine second date it is mentioning that is 25th of june 2020 so it might be different for you also so just like this first year dash month and then date which is mentioned over here okay you can see 25th june hit enter now last task come over here to task number 10 now here you can see from and to so the first date is from start date and second one is so just carefully start date enter the start date hit enter and that hit enter now if you try to check the score you will get 90 out of 100 and sometimes you may get 100 out of 100 there is no issue but if you are getting 100 out of 100 then it's very good and if you are not getting 100 out of 100 how you will get 100 out of 100 i will cover in this video now here the main task starts from now so please pay attention to the video now we'll be using bigquery console you can see then this task task number 5 only we are not getting the score so for that only we'll use the bigquery console let me show you how you have to do come to the basically github repo again copy this query paste on the notepad and here we have to update some values so here you can see the value is here that is total number of this so just update it it might be different for you so i am updating it from 10,000 to 40,000. if it shows 15 you have to update like this only make sure do not change the code structure or species and then just simply cross verify there is no date or month modification so you have to just use this only select entire query come to the big query page you can minimize or close the cloud shell click on untitled query paste over here and simply run it now once it is completed you can see we have got one output now simply just check the score for this particular task and here you can see we have got the score and finally we are done with the lab and due to this lab if your skill badge was missing you have completed the skill batch too so do like the video and subscribe the channel also one more important thing master sheet is there for all skill batches check it in the description box of this video